middle sky, it only covers a very small area. Imagine you're holding a piece of fruit in your hand at arm's length. What kind of fruit? So we've just finished step two of the moon badge, which was to learn from others. And to do that, we went to the, our local planetarium, which is here on Michigan State University's campus. And we went to a show called Imagine the Moon. Which was part of the Moon Fest. Yeah, so yesterday, puts on. yesterday is the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. So there was a whole weekend of events about the moon. What did you think was most interesting? What did you learn? We got to learn the cutting edge science of how they think the moon was formed, which I found that really interesting because it's different than some of the things I've been researching and finding out. So what I had learned before was that something hit the earth and splintered and then that debris formed into the moon. But now what they're thinking is that um, there was a huge collision with the earth and some other piece of rock and it combusted the earth it formed both the earth and the moon and right? in the cloud of debris that was really hot and swirling around it formed both the earth and the moon yeah so that was kind of like cutting edge very first cool. time ever presented at a planetarium show right which i thought was very exciting so. yeah and a lot of really cool imagery of the moon and they talked about the different like how the telescopes have evolved and how we can see things now that we couldn't before and how the edge of the moon when we look in the sky looks very smooth but actually it's really bumpy um, from the craters and, right. and the craters were formed from different meteors hitting it and different things hitting the moon is what formed those and they talked about how uh, typically we talk about the man on the moon is what you see but other cultures have see different things different animals so I thought that the was rabbit in the moon in yeah. Japan the lady in the moon have you ever remember. heard of that was that in Italy Italy so maybe says yeah. that yeah that um, so that was interesting there yeah, was also cool. some they did a little bit about constellations and the night sky and what we can see right now in Michigan which I thought was yes neat in this in the directions and also some really great snoring behind us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lots of children. <laughs> yes. And then they did like this roller coaster solar system thing, which it was it was like a planetarium trick. It was cool though. Yeah, it was really cool. Kids would have liked that. Yeah. Yeah. So very good. We learned a lot. We're excited to do step three next.